Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. Um, I just wanted to share with you some footage today of uh, Tiger Woods hitting a, on the right hand side maybe a 30 yard pitch, on the left hand side about a, a 50, 60 yard pitch. Um, I think this was again a few years ago, sort of slightly different time periods, but when his technique was definitely at his best there. So I think, you know, he had that sort of short game issues six months or so ago. And I think there's definitely a difference. So if we start on the right hand side. You know, I went out and I watched his sort of Tiger challenge. And, you know, everyone was talking about he had the chipping yips. But what really stood out to me, especially on that Bermuda, was at that period how far back his ball position was. Obviously, it varies depending on the shot. And really, the great short game players will vary the amount of shuffling through the ball, um, you know, ball position, how much they're opening the face, the bounce. So it's always varying. But as a standard, I think you can see Tiger here is, again, looks much more like the footage I posted of uh, Ernie Els. The ball's pretty much in the middle of the ankles there. The shaft's up and down. It's not too far off his back foot. And then if we just put a line on his head, you're going to see again that if anything, the head is going to camera maybe move slightly there, but you can see the head's definitely working sort of forward a little. The left shoulder moves down. He's got this widish look in his club shaft relative to his left arm, which I really like. Now it's pretty much the arms full, club leading, arms move, chest continues. And again, he creates that straight line two centimetres past the ball there. It's really all the great chippers tend to. And then again, the body just responds and keeps moving through. So this is really the ideal for me in terms of an action. You know, the head works slightly forward, covered, and then you can go ahead and release the shaft. So on the left-hand side now, it's a slightly longer um, pitch shot, sort of maybe double the distance, 60-odd yards. You can see the feet are marginally left relative to his foot line. But in terms of sort of a, a model, this would be an ideal. I mean, the club's perfectly on plane. If we look at the leading edge of the club as it comes into view, you know, it's pointing straight to the sky. Now, you can definitely be a very good long game player with the club face sort of looking more closed, matching your spine more. You know, but really, wedge plays a little different. You know, in the chipping, we need to get that leading edge looking to the sky more so we can use the bounce. So, I worked with Pete Cowan's assistant, Michael Walker, a number of years ago. And this is really what they would talk about. You know, spin the shaft, get the leading edge of the club head pointing to the sky. Um, what Tiger's doing here, get the ball a little more forward, shaft more up and down, release the shaft so we can use the bounce and the club doesn't dig in. So continued on with Tiger, you know, this would be an ideal. The club is, you know, really nice and neutral to slightly open. The shaft points at the ball. He's now just going to work it back down that plane. Lower body's going to be quiet but turning again as you see with Ernie you can see the head releasing early a little bit sort of David Duval Annika Sorensen-esque in their full swings and then everything keeps moving through with a passive club face and the face looking back at us